Inside that building that cared about kids, public education, teachers, it's an American value that we can't let go. All right, so this is past video uh, from years in Washington honoring troops in grand style. And that tradition will continue this year with a star-spangled concert set to air live from the Capitol on Sunday night on PBS. And when we say star-spangled, we mean the stars of Hollywood, all coming out in support and honor of our military for this Memorial Day weekend tradition. Uh, I'm joined now uh, by my next guests, the co-host of that event, Joe Montaigne, of the hit series Criminal Minds. And I'm also honored to be joined by Lieutenant Colonel Justin Constantine, a Marine reservist who was shot in the head by an enemy sniper in Iraq and earned a Purple Heart. Gentlemen, it's great to see you this morning. And Justin, I want to start with you. Tell us about what happened to you when you were serving in Iraq in 2006 and the injuries you suffered. Sure, I'm happy to, but I will say uh, I'm a major in the Marine Corps. I've been selected for the Senate Colonel, but I'm not one yet, so I don't want to pretend like I'm something I'm trying to not. predict the future uh, for you. Well, Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Generals after that. <laughs> We're, I'm working on that. I was in Iraq in 2006. I was a civil affairs team leader, and I had a team of eight um, amazing Marines, and we were attached to an infantry battalion from Camp Lejeune. And our mission was to try to work with the local leadership to help redevelop their cities, uh, the basic infrastructure that was had been completely destroyed, like uh, running clean running water, electricity, stuff we take for granted here. And so in 2006 was a very kinetic time with the Marine Corps there. Mm -hmm. The insurgency was at a very high level, and so we were challenged on a daily basis. Joe, I want to talk to you though about this tradition uh, that has become a tradition for a lot of Americans, having this concert uh, for Memorial Day weekend there on the Mall. Uh, we talked. About some of the performers and the speakers that are going to be there. Natalie Cole, Trace Atkins, they're topping the list. But you've been doing this for a while, and there we have Gary Sinise as your co host. But explain to all of us why you have been involved, stayed involved with this, and this is close to your heart. Well, I've been doing it for 11 years now, and this will be my seventh year co hosting with Gary. And I, I was first got involved 11 years ago when my dear friend Charles Durning, who was a World War II veteran and a Silver Star recipient, asked me to do it. And I have to say, I had a lot of military in my family, but I was lucky. They all came back, and they all came back pretty intact. And it was so it was like Memorial Day was something, it was a nice holiday to remember and that. But I think it wasn't until I did that first concert 11 years ago that it all came into crystal clear focus to me that not only. This is not just an important holiday, it's the most important holiday. And by that I mean without, without Memorial Day, we have no other holidays. There's no need to have any other holidays because it was the sacrifices that the men, young men and young women, well, women, well, young men and women of all ages actually, throughout our history, over the 200 years of our America's history, the sacrifices they made has allowed us to be the country that we are, the beacon of light for the world, the, the, what, what the rest of the world really aspires to be. Even with all our, 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 our flaws and foibles, this country, what our, our principles, what we're based on is what everyone, other country aspires to be. So Memorial Day honors those who've paid that ultimate price, who've cashed the check. You know, heroes like like Justin, who's, who've actually gone out there and, you know, freedom's not free, but somebody pays for it. And the military is, are, the, are those who do it. And so Memorial Day to me is the most important holiday we, we, we have. And so for me, it always will be that. And I'll, I'll be doing this concert as long as I possibly can. Joe, you make a very good point, though, about uh, why we have Memorial Day. It helps us keep all those other holidays that we love so much. And Justin, we're going to keep an eye on you and see if that promotion comes through. Sorry about the mistake there, but like I said, I'm just trying to predict the future for you. Uh, gentlemen, my thanks to both of you. I and again, it. absolutely. And again, the National Memorial Day concert airs live Sunday night starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, so you can catch it there, make it part of your holiday weekend tradition. Thanks to all of you. That's going to wrap things up for me today. I'll be back on Monday, taking tomorrow off. You can always follow me on Twitter at Thomas A. Roberts. Don't go anywhere, though. Now with Alex Wagner, is here to steer you through your Thursday afternoon. Hi, Alex. Hey, Thomas. Enjoy that Friday, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. I like, I like having a little Friday off. I like you getting some time off. Uh, if Mitt Romney becomes president, we hope he gets some rest over the next 241 days. The Romney has a big day one plan from China to Keystone to common sense health care. Are the promises even realistic? And Mother Knows Best. We will discuss a new article that sheds light on Romney's roots. That plus Jay Carney calls BS. Now starts in a mere 100.